Hello, hello. Good hello. evening, guys. How are you? Hello. How are you guys? Everything good? Yes? Ready for learning? Hi, good evening. Hi, what happens with your mood? <laughs> Hi, good evening. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. Jaime, welcome. Hello, Thank hello, you. Nelson. How are you? You see, I remember your name. It's not that I forget it. Forget it. Uh, no, no, guys, no les pasa que a veces entre más piensan las cosas se les, se les olvida. Entre más, ah, pues aquel día entre más pensaba el nombre de él, más se me iba. <laughs> y ahora, automatically, I said Nelson. Hello, Melissa, how are you? Welcome. Selena, you. where did you go yesterday? I missed you. <laughs> How are, Hola. You? How are you? Fine? Fine, and you? Fine, and you? Doing awesome. Thank you. Hello, Jerixa. Hello, Eric. Eric, we missed you yesterday. Hello. Hello, uh, hello Lucy. Hello, Christian. Please help me out with your name. Lucy. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. Christian. <laughs> Christian. Um, thank you. Thank you, Christian. Hello, hello, uh, Maggie. How are you, Maggie? Hello, Luis. How are you, Luis? I'm fine, teacher. Great. Ismael, welcome. How are you? Good. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye, teacher. Sabrina, hello, hello. How are you, Sabrina? Fine, and you, teacher? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. Francisco, hello, hello, Francisco. How are you, Francisco? Let's see. Patricia Carolina, hello, hello. How are you, Patricia? Let's see. I'm trying to go through the attendance list, guys, so we can go, uh, you can say present, uh, but just one moment. Francisco, Patricia Eugenia, hello, Patricia hello. Eugenia. Hello, Teacher. Let's see. Um, Light. who's missing? Who's missing? Oh my God. Patricia, Patricia is not there. Milton, Milton, hello. How are you, Milton? Are you doing better? Milton. Hi, Teacher. Hello, guys, hay algunos que todavía no han entregado las tareas. Oh my God, necesito que me ayuden con eso, guys. Please, okay. Please, necesito que para ahora estén las tareas. Yo ya las mandé, guys, pero voy a ver si me dan chance por algunos que no las han completado. So, también recuérdense que tienen el... el, el tienen la opción, guys, de hacer las tareas las veces posible. ¿Ok? Hasta que se saquen buenas notas para mejorar su calificación también, ¿ok? Si tienen dudas, preguntas, con gusto yo les ayudo, guys. Déjenme saber y, 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 y con gusto, ¿ok? Teacher, es hasta la tarea 5 ayer, perdón. Ajá, exactly. Yes. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so let me go through the attendance list. I just want to make sure something here. Nelson, ayúdame con su nombre, please. Eh, cámbiale, acceda a la aplicación y póngale todo su nombre para que siempre aparezca su nombre. Sorry que lo moleste ahí. Ahorita ya, ya le ayudé yo, pero ayúdeme siempre a poner su, todo su nombre, ¿ok? 
Okay, who's missing? Who's missing? Francisco, Melissa, Milton. Aha, Marcos, you were missing. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good? Very good. Very good. Okay, okay, great. Okay, guys, so let me go through the. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, go. Selena. Fíjense, que intentaré que quiero ver. Until today, I realized that the the first tarea homework left her with at the first week. Uh huh. Her with hissing out of the twenty points. Uh huh. No sé si me entendió. The first homework. Es que yo dejé, yo dejé la, la primera, la primera. Ah, no, no I got it. Ahora me di cuenta. Le entendí, okay. Selena, le, le entendí. Ah, Thank okay. you. Thank you for trying, ¿ok? Eso me gusta, guys, okay. que se lancen, ¿ok? Aunque ustedes digan, no, teacher, pero que... No, let's try it. So, let's see. Le voy a revisar, Selena. No, pero... sí, no, yo no me di cuenta hasta, hasta ahora me di cuenta que de, la dejé de, con 16 puntos de 20. No, no me había fijado. Ah, ok. Pero en este curso, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, sí. En, ah, okay. la, la, en la primera, en la primera tarea, Ajá. Eh, no completé a 20 puntos, sino que la dejé con 16, no sé por qué. O sea, porque siempre cuando me equivoco lo, lo trato de completar, pues. And have you tried to, to, to redo it again? Have you tried again? No, 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 no lo he intentado de nuevo. Try it, try it. And if okay. you can, mm -hmm. I will update the, the grade. I will change the grade, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Try it. Traten de hacerlo, guys. Traten de hacerlo. Si ustedes quieren mejorar la puntuación, traten de hacerlo ahora, please. Para ver si yo puedo actualizarlo todavía. Please, ¿ok? So okay. let's see. Ah, Estefania. Hello, Estefania. Welcome. Rosa, welcome. How are you, girls? Okay, so let me go through the attendance list now. Thank you for letting us know, Selena. Thank you. Thank you for trying, okay? Uh, okay, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, today is, oh my God, February the 1st. Wow. Uh, Celina Margarita Ramirez de Chavez. Present teacher. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Eric Mauricio Rendero Somacino. Present. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Present. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present. Uh, Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Linda Magali García Montoya. Ismael, today you stay with me, okay? Ismael. Hello. And tomorrow, tomorrow Jacqueline, if Jacqueline is not here, Jaime Antonio, okay? Tomorrow. So the one on one. Uh -huh, the one on one. Okay. Lucy Natalie Juarez de Ramirez. Present. Luis Ernesto Gomez Garcia. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Milton Hernández Sola. Milton Hernández. Thank you. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present. Rosa Calia Conrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Lizet García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melissa Oya Cisneros. Present. Surma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Glenda. Fátima Xiomara uh, Palacios Navarro. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. 
Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here, for your time, for your effort, for, con for joining to this meeting. I know you're tired, but let's start the class, okay? So let me share the screen. So we're going to start the class. Okay. So, guys, this is the class number six. There's something wrong right now. My screen is frozen. No sé si ven que mi pantalla se ha friseado o solamente yo la veo, guys. Todo negro. Sí, se ha frizado. Yes. ¿Verdad tengo... que sí? ¿Y sí. me escuchan? Yes. No, ok. Teacher. ¿No? Vaya, miren. Oh, my God. It, it works. Miren, a veces cuando pasa eso, mejor espero que, que reaccione el hamster porque... Oh my God, this is recording and I cannot stop it. So I prefer to, to, to wait, but I believe that now it's working. Si, ahora ya, ya funcionó. Es que guys, mi computer, my computer, de verdad, le doy guerra, guerra. Entonces siento que a veces ya no aguanta. Please, please let me rest, me dice. No, don't do it. Okay, do you see the screen? Uh, the PPT, the PowerPoint presentation screen, yes? No? Guys? Yes, we see. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> me asustan, see. oh my God. Yo me asusto y digo, ¿qué, ¿qué está pasando? Okay, so guys, uh, this is the class number six. Okay, we will start a new week. Okay, a new week today. Uh, and we will start with more topics. And the topic for today class is industry vocabulary. Industry vocabulary, okay? So before to start with this new topic, please let's go and open the page 18 because we will continue with the exercise we were doing yesterday. Sorry about this. Vamos a continuar con el exercise que estamos haciendo el día de ayer on the page 18, okay? Ahorita abro lo, la screen on the book screen. Okay, we have it page 18 here, guys. So we already did this exercises, the infinitives, okay? We corrected the mistakes, all right? And now it's time for us to use the words in the box to write sentences about your... I'm sorry, about your responsibilities at work, okay? Guys, I don't know if you remember that I said that we, will, uh, we're, we were going to talk about those phrases, okay? Let's see, what is the meaning of be in charge of, guys? Be in charge of, what's the meaning of this? Be in charge of? A cargo de... There you go. Very good. What about be committed to? Thank you, Lucy. Good job. Be committed to? Yes? What's the meaning of be committed to? Estar comprometido. Estar comprometido. Very good. Yes. Estar comprometido a algo, ¿verdad? No estar comprometido a una relación, sino que estar comprometido a hacer algo. Comprometido. There you go. Yes, very good, Patricia. So number three, be dedicated. Dedicated to? That's easy, right? Dedicado. Estar dedicado. Exactly. Uh, All right. So uh, what about number four? Be responsible for. That's piece of cake. Uh-huh. Be responsible. Uh-huh, be responsible for. Be accountable for, guys. What about be accountable, the last one? Uh-huh, there you go. Uh -huh. Whenever you accept your errors, okay, you accept them. You're accountable for that, okay? Very good. Okay, guys, so now, Use the words in the box to write sentences. Vamos a escribir oraciones 
So just let me ask you a question. Okay, let me ask you a question. Um, we are practicing the ING form, right? The ING. So we use the ING after every single preposition. Okay, we have a preposition here of two, two, four, and four. So obviously the next verb will be in ING. Pero lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, guys, is I want you to please Quiero que ustedes escriban oraciones abajo por cada frase, ¿ok? Conjugadas, guys. So, si dice be in charge of, yo voy a decir, voy a, voy a hacer el primer ejemplo yo, ¿ok? So, you have it. Be in charge of, I am, porque estamos hablando del verb to be. I am in charge, sorry about this. Charging. Charge of, y aquí viene la ING, Patricia. Porque va después de la preposition. Of uh, cleaning. Lo voy a poner cleaning the floor. Mm. Ok. I am in charge of cleaning the floor. In. No, just like that. Ok. I am in charge of cleaning the floor. Ok. And there I have the first sentence. Solamente van a ser cuatro oraciones then. Four sentences. Ok. So let's make it happen. Ok. Vamos a hacerlo. We have, uh, let's see, eight minutes to do it, okay? Eight minutes. Eight minutes to do it. Eight minutes to do it. You let me know if you have any question. Pueden hablar ustedes de I am. Pueden decir, por ejemplo, Patricia. Pueden decir acá, miren. Patricia. Patricia is in charge. Sorry of cha -la 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 -la, right and then you can say uh she is in charge of he is in charge of they for example they you can say then ustedes lo pueden cambiar ahí sean creativos they are in charge of et, cha -la 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 -la. okay or even i can say nelson and uh francisco are in charge of ahí depende como ustedes lo quieran hacer yes Nelson um, oh my god Marcos tell me Marcos did, did you say something was you about to ask me a question no Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. I will send you a picture about these guys. Let me send you a picture about this. But the exercise we're doing right now. Okay. Guys, did you watch the video that I sent you about the phonemes? No. Too late, teacher. Yes, Too late, teacher. me lo mandó, teacher. Yes, I watched watch the video. It's excellent. Great. Excellent All the sounds, guys. All the sounds. She's a native. She's a native speaker. Yeah. So those are the phonemes, guys. Those are the phonemes. It's awesome. Whenever you know how to deal with phonemes, wow, your pronunciation improves a lot. Cuando ustedes ven cómo funcionan los sonidos, guys, su pronunciación mejora bastante. Porque now you understand, ¿ok? So, si no han visto el video, véanlo, ¿ok? Véanlo, guys. Super interesting and super useful for your skills, for your English skills, ¿ok? So, if you have any question, you let me know. You let me know whenever you finish, ¿ok? Me van diciendo cuando vayan finalizando para yo saber y tener en cuenta si lo hago en menos tiempo or less time, more time, etc. Teacher. Yes, Sabrina. I have a question. I, I, I didn't understand very well the meaning of accountable because in the morning, in the morning, I search in a mm -hmm. store and it's a, a responsable. Mm -hmm. and, um, I'm searching 
And say, ex, eh, como dice ahorita, explica algo así, <laughs> but two different mean, meanings. So I don't understand very well the meaning of accountable. Don't worry, Sabrina. Thank you for asking. Um, so whenever we, we talk about accountable, is whenever you're responsible about your actions about your decisions, yes? So whenever you understand that you are making a mistake, for example, you're talking with your boss, right? Your boss and you, and then your boss is giving you a feedback and he's telling you, Sabrina, please, whenever you have a customer in front of you, smile to your customer, okay? Then, you say, yes, thank you for your feedback, uh, Mr. Mr. Perez. I know that that's, that's what I need to do. So from now on, I will avoid doing this action and I will start smiling to my customer, okay? So thank you, thank you very much for that. I will do it. I understand I need to improve. So you understand that you're making a mistake. You are responsible for your actions, but you are committed, okay, to do the best thing, okay? You are responsible for your actions and you understand what you're doing. You are accountable for that, yes? It's similar to responsible. It's similar to, to responsible, but you're responsible for your actions, for your decisions, and you have a good mood. I mean, um, yes, you have a good mood. Porque a veces somos responsables, Sabrina, pero lo hacemos de la mala gana, ¿sí? Pero be accountable es como lo hacemos de la mejor manera. Entendemos que estamos haciendo mal y eh, hacemos lo mejor posible para mejorar la situación o la acción que estamos haciendo. So you're accountable for that, yes? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're I, welcome. I think that is similar to money because I countable, <laughs> but it's nothing. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes, just give me one second, Marcos. Um, So what we will do guys, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es hacer oraciones utilizando estas frases. Be in charge of, be committed to. Por ejemplo, la primera yo ya la hice. Vamos entonces a la segunda que es be committed to. Entonces vamos a hacer una oración utilizando esa frase. Acuérdense que la regla dice que después de una, de un um, preposition, que en ese caso sería... To, ok, después de la preposición to, después de to, de for and for, va, el siguiente verbo va a ser ing, ok. Entonces, acuérdense que este es un review, entonces usted va a hacer oraciones basado en esta frase, ok, y conjugando el verbo. Como todos son ver to be al principio, usted va a decir I am, you are, she is, he is, they are, etc. Entonces, va a hacer oraciones basados en estos, en estas frases, yes? Is that clear? Just to check, okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Marcos, sorry, Marcos. Go for it. Dígame, Marcos. No, no problem, teacher. Uh, my question is why not you use a B in en la oración que acaba de hacer. En la oración. Ok, porque recuérdese que ahorita el B acá está en la base forma. Acá ve. Uh -huh. Base form of the verb. Está en la base forma. Yeah. Cuando usted ya lo conjuga, la base, fíjese que ese verbo, por eso es que nosotros, nosotros 
lo estudiamos por separado. No sé si se ha fijado. Ok, vamos a estudiar el verb to be, decimos. Y luego decimos, vamos, vamos a estudiar el simple present, aunque lo sea simple present el verb to be. Pero ¿por qué es tan importante el verb to be? Porque es más confuso. Cuando usted lo conjuga, ya le quita la base forma, usted le agrega el ING, usted le agrega la S y todo eso, ya no es igual. Usted no va a decir bis, ¿verdad? Para agregarle la S. Usted no va a decir she, bis, ¿verdad? No, sino que usted lo conjuga y usted dice she, is. ¿ok? Entonces ya conjugado es así. I am, you are, he is, she is. You, they are, etc. Okay? Okay. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso acá está en la base forma. ¿Yes? Base form of the verb. ¿Yes? Okay. ¿Did I answer your question, Marcos? Eh... ¿Le contesté la pregunta? ¿Did um, I answer yes, your question? Yeah. Ok, great. Yeah. Guys, did you finish? No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes to finish. Remember that you will be creative in putting the, the rest of the sentence. Ustedes van a ser creativos en, en ver qué es lo que van a poner acá. Alguna acción que alguien hace, de qué es responsable usted en su trabajo, de qué es dedicado para hacer, comprometido, de qué está encargado de hacer, etc. Okay. Por eso es que era muy importante saber el significado de cada uno de ellos y buscarlo, guys, para saber qué poner en los examples. Two more minutes, guys. Okay, guys, time is over. We will do it together, okay? We will do it together. Let's go to the number two. Number two, which is regarding be committed to, okay? Be committed to. So for this exercise, uh, let's see. Rosa will help me to answer the number two. Could you please help me to uh, to answer the number two, which is related with we be committed to, Rosa? Rosa. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. Thank you. Sorry. He is committed to her work in the company. Oh, let's see. She is 
committed to her work team her working in the company oh okay uh what about if we put a verb after the preposition let's try to place a verb pongamos un verbo después de la preposición let's see she's committed What do you think, guys? Ayúdenle a Ross, please. Teacher podría ser, she is committed Don't to you. working. Uh -huh. uh, eight hours. Uh, que tra uh, comprometidos a trabajar. Oh, eight hours. hours. Yes. Eight hours? Thank yes. you. Okay, thank you for helping here. Thank you, Rose. Thank you a lot, okay? No, okay. su oración, Rose, no, no es que estaba mala. It was okay, okay? It was okay. Pero para aplicar lo del ejercicio de la Angie, por eso le cambiamos verbo. But other than that, it was excellent, okay? También se podía decir de esa manera, solamente que no estábamos aplicando la Angie. All right? Thank you. Thank you, Maggie, for your... Uh, for your comments. So let's go to the number three. Ismael. I am. I am. How do you say her, Lisa? To realizing? Oh, in that case, it's going to be to doing, doing the job. Yes? Yes, Ah, okay, es que casi no la escucho, pero thank you. I'm dedicated to doing the job. Okay. Very good, thank you. Okay, Patricia, could you please, Patricia Carolina, could you please help me out with the number? Let's see, because I can hear a lot of sound, guys, sorry. With the number one, uh, four. Four, right? Four, four. That will be no. responsible for. Mm, Julio is responsible for driving the car. Wow, wonderful statement. Good job. Good job, Patricia. Excellent. Julio is responsible for driving the car. Very good. Okay, what about the last one? Be accountable for Eric. Could you please help me, Eric? Okay. Uh, I am accountable for delivering products. I am accountable for? Uh, de uh, delivering products. Okay, great. For delivering products. Good job. Uh-huh. Good job. Okay, very good, guys. So just don't forget about the ING, um, the ING rule, okay? After a preposition, okay? That's pretty much. Disculpe, teacher. Podría explicar en español, por favor. Yes. Ese, ese mm -hmm. último, porque es responsable de también ese be accountable for, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero, okay. ¿Cómo lo utilizo? ¿En qué ocasión lo utilizo? Ok, sí, yes, no, no don't hay... worry. Cuando usted es responsable, Selina, de sus acciones y sus decisiones, se parece mucho al verbo respond, I mean, al, 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 a este um, adjetivo de responsable. Sí se parece, uh -huh. solamente que cuando usted lo dice, responsible for, I mean, accountable for, 
¿verdad? Usted está siendo responsable, pero de la buena manera y su objetivo, su misión en un futuro es mejorar. Mm, ok. Usted lleva la perspectiva Ajá. de mejorar, como le estaba explicando a Sabrina, ¿verdad? Le puse un ejemplo de su jefe que le estaba dando un feedback o le estaba dando una retroalimentación de, de, de su trabajo. Entonces ella fue responsable de aceptar sus hechos y de ser comprometido en que en un futuro ella va a mejorar. Eso será accountable. Uh, okay. For. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ok. Thank okay, you. Teacher, gracias. You're welcome. Ok, so let's see. Any other question, guys? Questions, comments? No? Okay, great. So let me ask, let me share the stream again and let's continue. Okay, guys, so yesterday I explained to you the difference between personal and personal, okay? So after this explanation, personal, remember, this personal is whenever... Uh, we talk about something that is yours, something that is private, ¿ok? Privado, bien personal de ustedes. Pero cuando decimos personal, estamos hablando del personal o el, el staff de su compañía, ¿ok? That's completely different. So, um, which word means belonging to a particular person and which word means people who work for a company? The word that means the belonging to a particular person is per personal, sorry, this one, personal. And the, the one that means uh, that someone work for a company is this, personal, okay? Recuérdense que el person personal significa algo personal y usted, privado, y personal, on the other hand, por el otro lado, Significa el personal de la compañía. Okay, so now do me a favor and complete the statements with appropriate words. Ahorita lo vamos a hacer together, okay? So let's see. Luis, could you please help me to read the number one? Who is the responsible, responsible for the... Uh, do you believe it's personal or personal? I mean, personal or personal? Personal. Personal, right? Very Person good. At the plant. At the plant, porque estamos hablando de la compañía. Very good, Luis. So it's personal. Acá vamos a poner cualquiera de las dos palabras, dependiendo del contexto, guys. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Personal. Personal. Very good. Good job, Luis. Okay, Christian, could you please help me with the number two? Could you please read it? Sorry, I have the tour of the microphone. Oh, okay. The marketing manager have a... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's a tricky one. Personal nice. assistant. Right? Right or left? Right or left? Right. Right, perfect. Personal, yeah. right? Because we're talking about personal assistance, okay? We're not talking about the staff. We're talking about private assistance, okay? Number three, uh, Patricia Eugenia. Could you please help me, Patricia Eugenia? Okay, Francisco, could you please help me, Francisco? Either Patricia Eugenia or Francis. Oh, Patricia Eugenia, yes. Could you please read it? It's necessary to train more. Personal or personal? 
Personal for the high season. This one, right? Personal, yes. Patricia, this one, personal or personal? Guys, what do you think? Personal, right? Personal. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. Estefania, could you please help me with the number four? Estefania? Please do not bring your personal problems personal. to the office. There you go. Please do not bring your personal problems to the office. All right, great. Okay, Francisco, are you there? Jarixa, could you please help me with the number five? The personnel of the workshop need your uniform. Mm -hmm. Very good. The personnel of the workshop need new uniform. Good job. Okay, guys, copy that, please, so you have it in your manual. Copy it. Questions about the difference between personnel and personal, guys? Questions or no questions? The pronunciation is similar, teacher. It's similar. Personal, personal. The last sounds is different. The last sounds. Personal, personal. Very good question. Very good question. Let me look it up on the dictionary. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que lo podemos buscar en el dictionary? Los phonemes, okay? Vamos a buscar los phonemes en, en el dictionary, guys. Just to make sure. Cambridge. Ok, one second. Ya, le, ya les comparto pantalla para que vean. Personal. No. No, the, the, this um, Cambridge is not the one that I was looking for. Let me look for another. Another another dictionary which is that is good is Webster Dictionary. Webster Dictionary. That's Marian Webster. Marian Webster Dictionary. That's another one that is really good. Mm -hmm. Webster Dictionary is better. Let me get a second. I will share the screen, but just one moment. There is just a difference. Uh -huh. There is just a difference, Jessica. Uh, sorry. Sabrina, Sabrina, there is just a difference in the stress. No sé si les expliqué ayer del stress en English, que es el acento, ¿verdad? En Spanish. Solamente hay una diferencia en thank you for personal. Personal. Okay. 
Les voy a compartir la pantalla para que se fijen de que, miren, cuando quieran descargar un dictionary, un dictionary guys, descarguense este súper bueno, el Merriam Webster. De hecho, en este momento acabo de aprender que hay una diferencia y la diferencia es solamente en el stress, en dónde lleva la mayor fuerza de voz la palabra. So, very good question, Sabrina. Les voy a compartir la pantalla ahorita para que vean rapidito la diferencia en pronunciación, que es igual, si ustedes van a ver, va a ser igual, mírenlo. Acá, personal, fíjense en los phonemes, son iguales, miren, en los phonemes. Este es, este es uno y este es el otro, miren, súper igual. Ahora bien, esta, comi esta como comida que está acá, no sé si es, sí, eso es una comillita que lleva, porque no es este apóstrofe. Esta comillita que lleva acá, guys, no sé la, bueno, sí es apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Este, esto que tiene acá significa cuando una palabra lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Entonces, personal, personal, la mayor fuerza de voz va al principio, personal, ¿ok? Le voy a compartir eh, sonido para que lo escuchen. Please, do me a favor y, guys, copien el nombre de este dictionary. Este es the best. Merriam Webster Dictionary, pero búsquenlo inglés, inglés. Merriam Webster, inglés, inglés. Pueden descargarlo incluso de Google Play. Merriam Webster, Webster, inglés, inglés. No tiene que ser inglés, español, solo inglés, inglés. So, miren, les aparece acá y escuchan la pronunciación de personal. Me dicen si escuchan. Personal. Did you hear that? Personal. Personal. La mayor fuerza de voz al principio, el stress. Esto se llama stress at, at the very beginning. Luego, si me voy al otro, la mayor fuerza de voz la tiene acá, miren. Personal. Personal. Listen to that. Personnel. Sí, personal. Personnel. Es igual, pero el estrés cambia y eso hace que se escuche diferente. ¿Ok? Entonces, es, cada vez que vean ese apóstrofe, significa que ahí va la mayor fuerza de, vo de voz. ¿All right? Personnel. Personnel. And then we have this one. Personal. 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 Repeat after personal. me. Personal. 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 There you go. So that's the big difference. So copy that, guys. Marian Wester, and don't forget about the stress. Cuando ustedes vean esto, significa el estrés. Eh, la E al revés es el schwa. Esto se llama schwa. Y el schwa es la menor fu fuerza de voz. ¿Ok? Menor fuerza de voz el schwa. O sea, acá quiere decir que acá no hacemos fuerza de voz. Personal. Per Así va, miren. Personal. ¿Ok? Personal. ¿Ok? Acá, acá, personal al principio y al final va menor forzado. Ok, so eso ustedes lo van a entender más con el video que vean, guys. So I will I invite you to watch the video. De verdad, los invito a que vean el video. So, thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for sacarnos de la, de la, oh my god, how do you say that? Mm, se me ha olvidado. Ayer la dije. Zona de confort, ok. Thank you. The 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 um, comfort zone, comfort zone. Okay, so let me continue sharing that. Let's continue with the class, guys. Um, let me share the presentation. Okay. So we have another discussion today, and the discussion that we have it is on the page 19. We will have a discussion, and then we have a conversation that we will practice here, okay, in class. So do me a favor and open your book in the page 19. Page 19, okay? Page 19 is here. We are in unit number two, two already, okay? Unit number two, unit. Repeat after me, unit. 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 Unit.
La U es como que ustedes digan you. Ok, you. Unit. Ajá, there you go, Maggie. Unit. Unit two. Two. Unit two. Two. There you go. Okay, so we will talk about socializing. Socializing. Okay? Socializing. Fíjense, guys, the difference, the difference between the S sound and the and the Z sound. Gran diferencia entre la S y la Z. So socializing. Repeat after me. Estamos pronunciando el sonido de la S. Repeat after me. So. 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 Solo así como que le están hablando a alguien. Como que van a llamarle porque no termina. Ajá. Como que le dice a alguien. Cuando algo no está haciendo bien, ¿verdad? Decimos. Ajá. There you go. Ok. So now. <laughs> Let's, repeat, let's make the sound z, la z. La z en inglés se pronuncia como una abejita, the v sound. So it's z, y tiene que vibrar. Your mouth will be vibrate, okay? Repeat after me. Ok, so, la diferencia entre la S y la Z, guys, es que una es voice y la otra es voiceless. Voice significa con vibración. Voiceless significa sin vibración. Ok. Ok. And, ok. Esa es la diferencia entre esas dos. So, ahora pronunciamos socializing. 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 No, Socializing. Con el... Socializing. Ah. Socializing. 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 Okay, so guys. Uh, now that we talk a little bit about pronunciation, <laughs> let's talk about the discussion, okay? So, do you often attend seminars? Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Okay, quiero saber cómo son ustedes. Son quiet, shy, tímidos, okay? Shy, shy, or you are a socializing person? Ok, socializan con sus con sus uh, co-workers at, at, I mean in your job uh, So let me ask you Do you often attend to seminars guys? In your job? Do you go to mm -hmm. seminars? Or maybe if they are not seminars Trainings, capacitaciones Trainings, meetings Ok, what else? Uh, meetings trainings, seminars, etc. Do, uh, do you usually go to, I mean, meetings where more than people are? More than one people are, excuse me. Uh -huh. Van a esos lugares donde más personas están en su lugar de trabajo? Do you, do you often go? Remember, Yes, teacher. I usually. Yes, teacher. I often. ¿Se acuerdan de estas de esas palabras? How do you say that? ¿Cómo se dicen? ¿Se acuerdan? Frequency adverb. Frequency adverbs. I always, teacher. I always go to those seminars. Okay. So, guys, do you usually go? How often do you go? I have Always? never gone. Never? I have never, have never gone to a... Never? Okay. Never. But, right. but my Are boss never. say that um, I talk until with a tree. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I am always talking. <laughs> oh no, but that's true. But I'm your corner in crime because I'm talkative as well. <laughs> I'm so talkative as well. Sometimes I'm talkative. Sometimes. Okay. But sometimes I'm not talkative. <laughs> so 
So you sometimes, but okay, Sabrina never, okay? Never goes to seminar. Christian, how often do you go to seminars or meetings with the other teachers? I am every Wednesday have seminars every Wednesday. in the school. Okay. So you sometimes, right? You sometimes have I remember. every, every. <laughs> Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, every every Wednesday, right? Okay. Eric, do how often do you go to seminars? Eric? Yes, or always. Always, okay, great. Uh let's see. Marcos, how often do you go to seminars? Never, always, sometimes. Never. Never? Okay. Never. Patricia. Patricia, how often do you go to seminars or meetings or trainings in your job? Never? Always? Sometimes? You don't go? Usually, it's every day. Every day, Selena. Very good. Lucy? So, always. Lucy? Um, seldom I sell? attend okay. uh, meetings I in my work. Great job. Okay, let's see. Uh, the last one. Melissa, how often do you go? We couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Rarely. Rarely, very good. Okay, so guys, we know already. Sometimes you don't. I mean, you go. You some. You some of you told me that you sometimes go. That you never. That you always. Okay, is it easy? Easy for you to socialize with those events of at those events? Do you socialize or in those events? Jaime and Christian. Yes, we know, right? They are socializing because they are born in crime. Whenever you have a meeting, guys, es que Christian y Jaime. Okay, we don't talk him. Que, okay, ellos trabajan en el mismo lugar, verdad? Entonces ellos obviamente socializan entre ellos. Pero okay, además de ellos que we know. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Rosa. Uh, it is easy for you to socialize in those events. Es fácil para ustedes socializar en esos eventos, guys? No? Yes? Maybe? Patricia, Eugenia said yes. Rosa? Maybe. Maybe, okay. Ismael? Ismael. Ismael, don't go, please. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Is it easy for you to socialize in those events? No? Yes? Maybe? Uh, no, teacher. No? Uh -huh. No. No, okay. No. So, how do you usually break the ice? Okay, how do you usually make the break the eyes and make people feel more friendly to talk to each other? Do you perform any activities? No sé si hacen algunas actividades para para break the eyes. Break the eyes para que okay, vamos a hacer algo para que todo se integre. No? Do you make activities like that? A veces hacen actividades que actividades, sorry, uh, bien dinámicas, ok. No sé, una vez yo hice una de un espagueti. Nos formaron hombres y mujeres, ok. Y nos dieron un paquete de espagueti, nos dieron tiro y nos dijeron, ok, fórmeme una casa. Nos fuimos las mujeres y los hombres, ok. Y formamos una casa con los espagueti. Y luego nos juntamos todos. Y teníamos las dos casas representando hombres y mujeres. Entonces, el, el, el que estaba manejando la sesión iba a soplar la casa y la que se cayera más rápido iba a perder. Entonces, esa era la actividad. Esta es, un, este es una actividad que hicimos para break the ice. Ok. Do you usually do those activities? 
in in, in your workplace, Elena? No. no. Yes. No. yes. Great. Okay. Perfect. Sabrina, do you uh, perform those activities? Icebreaker? No. Yes, I think. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see, Maggie. Do you perform those activities, icebreakers? Mm, no, no. Okay, <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> thank you. No. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Thank you a lot. So, guys, we have a, this this uh, conversation. Okay. It's time to practice pronunciation. Please listen to the pronunciation, okay? Listen to this and then practice here in the session, okay? So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, okay? Christian, don't get asleep. So let's go with, the, with Rick. Rick is gonna be the ladies, okay? I mean, the ladies, the ladies are Rick. And the gentlemen are Jack, okay? Let's start, ladies. Ladies, I know we will win this time, okay? Vamos a ganar, chicas. So, sorry, guys. Jack and Rose. <laughs> yes. Jack and Rose. <laughs> Let's rock it. Let's rock it, girls. Okay, girls. Um, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer así. Necesito un hombre que lidere a los hombres. <laughs> One man. ¿Ah? ¿Alguien que le hagan caso, please? Uh -huh. Elijan Mr. un Jaime. representante. Ok, Mr. Jaime. Mr. Jaime. Ok, Mr. Jaime, you represent the, the gentlemen. Ok, Mr. Jaime, you are Jack. Entonces, ustedes, guys, repeat after Jack. O sea, after Jaime. Ok. And you, girls, repeat after me. ¿Sí? Los chicos repiten después de Jaime y you girls repeat after me, ¿ok? So, let's start. Let's start. My name is Freak. Nice to meet you. Solo las ladies. My name, My name is, is Freak. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ay, me. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for INEX Inc. We are winning, girls. Estamos ganando. <laughs> what, go does, <laughs> what does INEX Inc. do, Jack? What, what does INEX Inc. do, Jack? Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing companies. Okay, okay. Good. <laughs> yes, improving, improving. Oh, I see. Does Enex have many branches? Oh, I see. Does Enex have many branches? Many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. We have a three manufacturing branches in the country. It's a country. Um, and where are the headquarters? And where, where are, are the headquarters? They are in Panama. They are in Panama. They are in Panama. Okay. Creo que estamos empatados, guys. <laughs> So, very good. A round of applause for you, okay? Yeah, very good. Party. Okay, okay. Premio <laughs> Consuel. Okay, so repeat after me, guys. Repeat after me. Uh, let's see. 
Manufacture. 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 Sure. Sure. Manufacture. Packaging. 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 Branches. 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 Manufacturing. 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 Headquarters. 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 Okay. So. Very good. Before practicing the conversation, antes que practiquemos the conversation, guys, before practicing, uh, I just want to make clear the difference between, I mean, what is the meaning of headquarters and what is the meaning of branch? Okay, branch is a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Okay, that's a branch. A shop for office representing the large company or organization in a particular area. Okay. Uh, let's see. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Um, each time about the list. Yes, thank you. I will go just in a minute. Thank you, Maggie, for letting me know because I forget all the time. So, branch is this. Okay. Headquarters is the place where the company or the organization has its main office. Okay, so let's see. Give me an example of a company in El Salvador. A company in El Salvador. Give me an example. Un ejemplo de una compañía en El Salvador. Coca-Cola Company. Okay, Coca-Cola's company. I don't know about Coca-Cola, guys, so we will do it together. Lo vamos a tratar de hacer juntos. So, Coca-Cola has the main office. Tiene la, las oficinas centrales de Coca-Cola. Do you know where are they? I don't know. ¿Dónde tiene las oficinas centrales Coca-Cola? En Quesaltepeque. En Quesaltepeque, donde vivo. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Quesal de Peque. So Quesal de Peque office is the headquarters. They are, I mean, this is the headquarters. Okay? So now Coca Cola, okay, has uh, more shops or tiene tiendas or offices around the El Salvador. Okay? Distributores. And there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Maggie. So, ellos son los, the ones that distribute that. Pero, son las oficinas que no son centrales, sino que las que distribuyen. Okay? Those are called branch. Okay? Is that clear? Yes? Clear? Como sucursales. Yeah. Ajá, there you go, sucursales. Ajá, sucursales que distribuyen, there you go. Pero no son las main office. No son las donde está la, la oficina central. Yes? Good job, Sabrina. So, questions about Herquator and Branch? Repeat after me. Herquator. Herquator. Branch. Branch. Ok, guys, while I go through the attendance list, mientras paso la lista, lean la conversación, please. Leanla, analízala, porque después tenemos algunas preguntas que vamos a responder in pairs. Ok, vamos a, a responder en pareja. So, leanla y ya la vamos a practicar. So, just to take advantage of the time. Para tomar ventaja del tiempo, leanlo ahorita. And help me to turn on the camera and to stay present. 
Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Celina Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Present teacher. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Francisco Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Jacqueline Liliana Barra Hernández. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Milton Hernández Sola. Present teacher. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melissa Hoya Cisneros. Present. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Present teacher. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Present teacher. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok. Great. Ok. Now it's time to practice the conversation, guys. Ok. Let's practice the conversation. Let's see. Um... We will right now make the pairs. Vamos a hacer parejas dependiendo de the color of your shirt or your blouse. Okay, the color of your blouse or your shirt. So I can see white shirt. Who has white shirt? Lucy and Melissa. White shirt. Okay. So white white blouse. Sorry, white blouse. Lucy and Melissa will be together. Let's start, girls. You are the number one. Let's um, let's <laughs> practice the conversation. <laughs> okay. Thank I'm you. Rick. Yes, you can you can start, Melissa. Thank okay. you. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Jack, I work for Inix Inc. <laughs> What does Ines Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Yeah. Oh, I see. Does Ines have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, girl. Ok, girls, so do me a favor, háganme un favor y traten de agregar dos oraciones más a esa conversación. ¿Cómo ustedes seguirían hablando con esa persona? Porque, ok, Jack le respondió, they are in Panama. Ok, ¿qué le respondería el Rick y qué le respondería después Jack? Solo two more okay. lines. Agreguen That, dos más ahorita. In, improvise. Does Inex have many offices in Panama? Yes, we have five offices in Panama. Oh, awesome. Yes. <laughs> Get great job. A round of applause for you, okay? Good job. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So let's see the, the ones that are in black. Black color, black shirt. Hey, Christian, don't go. <laughs> Okay, I can see Jaime and Eric, Jaime and Eric, and then Rosa and Patricia, okay? Jaime and Eric, you are the next one, guys. Remember to add more information. Recuérdense de terminar la conversación porque ya media se han quedado, okay? Agreguen más conversación a la conversation that we have here. <laughs> okay, Jaime, you can start. And then Eric. 
Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. I am Jack. Work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? We, we manufacture uh, cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, I do. We have the manufacturing branch in the country. And um, where where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Oh, great. Do you like work here? Sorry? Do you like work here? Uh, I like. Yes, I like. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye okay, to each bye. other. <laughs> See you. <laughs> okay, great. I ran a plus for you guys. Great. Okay, now it's um, Rosa and Patricia turn. Okay, Rosa and Patricia. Remember to add more information. Finish the conversation, okay? Oh my God, I say Patricia. No, Patricia Eugenia. Es que a Patricia le digo, Patricia Carolina le digo Patricia. Patricia Eugenia. Go for it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am, I am Jack. I work for Inexim. What does Inexim do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does Inex, Inex uh, have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Is is um, interesting uh, and what do you do in Panama? Mm, no. What do you work do in Panama? In El Salvador. My branch is in Salvador. Ah, okay. I got it. Ah, okay, I got it, le puede decir usted, Rose. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, girls. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good job. So, let's see. Um, Next colors. Hey, Marcos, where do you go? <laughs> what about the ones that are with the camera? Oh, turn on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Sabrina uh, is in pink. Oh my God, pink yeah. color. Hi, and sure. Jarixa, right? Jarixa and Sabrina. Yes, Jarixa and Sabrina. I don't know, Jarixa, is it red or is it pink? Red, right? Red. It's red. Oh my God. Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Where do you go? Wait a minute. No veo Patricia. Patricia, you're in pink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Patricia and Sabrina, go for it. Okay. Recuerden de agregar yes, más información. Yes. There you go, Patricia. Okay. My name is Red. Nice to meet you. Sabrina. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, do Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for 
hat hash company. Oh, I see. Does it have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Uh, and where, where the health, health they are in Panama. Mm. They, they are all branched in Costa Rica. Yes, they, they are, there are three, three branches in Costa Rica, two. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. Nice of Thank you. you. Good to see you. Bye. Bye. Wow, very good. Y Patricia ni quería venir, decía que no podía. Guys. Ustedes le creen. No, ya hablando en serio, le creemos. Me you're cuesta, doing teacher. a todos. You're doing your best. Great job para todos, guys. Okay, let's try it, man. <laughs> okay, very good, Sabrina, as well. Let's see. Print colors. Print colors. I just have Selena. Oh my God. Selena, you have print. Print. I have print. Pero let me, vamos a ver quién tiene otro con print. Oh my God. Turn on the camera, guys. Print. We have one for blurred. Ismael tiene como de línea. Blurred. Oh my God. Print. Christian. Ah, no, Christian, no. It's like, like, it's, it's blue, right? Dark blue. Oh my God. Melissa, Glenda, Patricia, Rosa, Fatima, ah, Estefania, Ma Maggie, turn on the camera. No sean así. Oh, we have Fatima, red color, and Jarixa. Jarixa, para que le encendí, dice Fatima. Jarixa and Pat uh, Fatima, they are in red color. Okay, red color. Let's do it. Ya le voy a buscar su pareja, Nelson. The one that is in white. Porque no lo había visto. Se me escapó. Okay, let's go for it, girls. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Index Inc. What does Index Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for baking companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the hardware? hardware? They are in Panama. Where are you from? I from, from in the <laughs> Salvador. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Wow, good job. I never got bored with you guys. No me aburro. Porque todos tienen diferentes conversations. Good job. Good job. El propósito es seguir la conversación, guys. Okay? And it makes sense. It makes sense a lot. Good job. All right. Let me see what color. Print color, right? Pero we're waiting for the ladies to turn on the camera. Milton and Ismael. Oh, no. Ismael is blurred. Maggie, turn on the camera. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Oh my God. Teacher, Green color. Ayer le mandé el mensaje, el por qué no. ¿Por qué no puedo encender la cámara? No, no, it's, I'm, I'm kidding, Maggie. Okay, <laughs> Maggie and Selena. I just imagine Maggie has a print blouse. <laughs> Okay. Maggie and Selena, okay? Go for it, Selena. Let's rock it, okay? Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I, I, yep, I work for Inex. In. What, do, what, do, 
What does Inex in do, Jack? Uh, we manufacture a cardboard box for packing uh, companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it's that. We have three manufacturing uh, branch in the country. And we and we are the headquarters. They they are in Panama. Oh, they are in the city or in the province. No. Uh, are you no. to a world conference in Panama? Oh, the company in Panama. Yes. Ubication in the city or in the province? Um, in the city. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye nice bye. To <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh wow! Good job. That that was the longest one. Good job, girls. You were improvising a lot. That's what I like. Eso es lo que yo quiero. <laughs> Good job. Okay? okay. Okay. Let's see who else. Um. The one in yellow one. Luis, hello. What color do you have in your shirt? <laughs> That's white. a white, right? Nelson and Luis. Nelson and Luis. Hello, Nelson. Nelson and Luis are in white. There Present you this. go. <laughs> My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jack. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Oh, you go, Luis. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I'm Jab. I work for Inex Inc. What does In uh, Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for the packaging companies. Oh, she does Inex. How many bronze? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where, and where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Nice, nice to see you. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Okay. Gusto verlo. <laughs> Saludarlo. Okay, nice to meet nice to meet you too. Okay. Hey. No more. Mm. Okay. Do you want to visit the company? Nelson, do you want to visit the company? <laughs> <laughs> No, visit the company. No, you don't want to visit the company? Nelson, uh, do you want to visit visit the company? Yes. Yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Round of applause for you guys. Thank you for trying. You're the best, okay? Let's see. Um, oh my God. Yellow, I insist, yellow, but I don't know, Lucy, Fatima, Milton, Glenda, please turn on the camera. Okay, yellow, oh no, it's not, that's not yellow, that's green, right? No, Fatima, you already passed, sorry. Oh my god, we have another white here. Oh no, but you already passed, Lucy. Sorry. And Lucy was teacher. I already passed. 
Oh my God, Marcos. Okay, who wants to do it with Marcos? I am rich. Christian, Christian and Marcos. Okay. Go for it, the last partner, okay? Go for it. Okay. okay. My name is Rich, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too, I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do you do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for piking company. Oh, I see does Inex have many break, break branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Um, um, where, uh, where, where are the her, her choir, no sé, I don't know. They're in Panama. Um, what is the address, the office of the index in Panama? What is what? <laughs> um, uh, what? What is the address, the office? Huh? Um, Inex, okay. Of Phoenix in Panama. The office in Panama is in the capital. Ah, okay, the capital. Excellent. Nice to meet yeah. you, Jack. Nice to meet you too. Okay, great. Very good. Okay, guys, congratulations, all of you. You did an amazing job improvising this conversation, okay? So we already did this, okay? We already did it. Speaking, we already did it. So guys, do me a favor. Do me a favor, please. List three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters, okay? Escriban la compañía acá y le ponen the branches and the headquarters. Remember, branches and headquarters. Just three, solo three. We already mentioned Coca-Cola. Mencionen, traten de mencionar three more, okay? Three more. Three more companies in our country, in El Salvador, okay? With branches and her headquarters. Just three. Questions, guys? Questions, no questions? We're good? Yes, Christian, Luis, good. Three more, three more companies besides Coca-Cola. This one, this one, and this one. Glenda, you are so quiet today. Why you are so quiet, Glenda? Francisco as well is so quiet, Francisco. He's not even here, right? Se fue Francisco, guys. He left. Did he leave? Oh my God, he's not here. I will place an example. Voy a poner el ejemplo acá. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Where did you say, guys? Get what? <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. Where did Where do you say? Que tal? Que tal te peque? Okay. And the headquarters. Oh, I don't know them, guys. Algunas sucursales. En Soyapango. Teacher Coca-Cola is the franchise. Sorry? Eh, Coca-Cola es franquicia. Is the company, ajá. Uh -huh. Es la compañía de la que estamos hablando. Branches? No, la compañía es la constancia. Constancia. Mm, ok. En, entonces acá pongo la constancia. Coca-Cola la constancia. Ok, 
Okay. Que salte para que se llama another headquarters. Thank you, Luis. Another headquarters. Visa eso de Apango? I don't know. San Salvador. Tatiana. Where? Boquita Diana. Other company. Ah, okay. Okay, let's place this. Okay, Boquitas Diana. Boquitas Diana, what is the main, uh, what is the hair? Oh, no, pero me acá me equivoqué, porque branches va a cabe. Es al revés, ¿verdad? Yes. Las tranchas son las sucursales. Exactly, yes, Patricia. Sorry. So, Boquitas Diana, what is the headquarter of Boquitas Diana? Okay, great. What about the branches? I know one in Santa Ana. Santa Ana has one. Eso es lo único que sé. <laughs> Give me another one. Another one. Boquita Diana, guys. La Samunda. Okay. Great. Okay, the last one. Give me another one. Estilo Salón. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Estilo Salón. What is the headquarter? I don't know. In Metro Centro San Salvador. Okay. Esa es la principal. Okay. In, in branches? In Santa Ana, Son Sonate, y San Miguel. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, and okay. good job, okay, great. So girls uh, and boys, girls and boys, thank you very much. Give me more examples from the one you have there, okay? More examples, Ismael, Rosa, more examples, Patricia, Eugenia. For example, Procast Groups. Okay. Pharmaceutical Procast Group. The headquarter, where is it located? The branches is Barranquilla, Colombia. The headquarters is Procast CA, El Salvador. Pharmajet, Brazil. Taxihel, Colombia, Bogota. Okay, and what is the, the main office? In Colombia. Barranquilla, Colombia. Ah, okay. Great. Thank you. Okay, one more. One more. One more. Who wants to give me one more? Milton, do you have another one? Another company? Estefania? Bam Bam Bakeries. Bam Bam Bakery, yes. What is the, the headquarter? The headquarter is Santa Ana City. Santa Ana, huh? And branches? Branches. Lourdes, San Salvador. Great. Guys, do you know Polanco's Bakery? Polanco Bakery. Have you tasted no. Polanco's Bakery? I don't know. Never. Okay, esta Never. no es una sección de paga. <laughs> Pero <laughs> it's a good, it's a good bakery. Saben que a mí me gustan, perdón por el paréntesis, pero a mí me gustan mucho, guys, los pasteles que son bien mojaditos, ¿verdad? Y me ha Do costado encontrar uno. Yes, yeah? sorry, Luis. Do you win your commissions? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Pero ajá, es un comentario personal. No, y fíjense que I really like that Polanco's Bakery. Polanco's Bakery. The head uh, quarter is in Chalchuapa, head quarter. And the um, branches are in San Salvador, maybe. San, yes, San Salvador, for sure. And in Santa Ana, as far as I know. So I just wanted to give you one example. That's it. <laughs> so let's create an example. <clears throat> okay, so guys, we have 20 minutes right now, 20 minutes, and those 20 minutes, we will work on this, okay? Match the product service to the corresponding industry type. Tenemos aquí los diferent, diferentes tipos de industrias, okay? We have the bands, soft dreams, guided tours, cardboard boxes, buildings, mobile phones, 
medicine, car components, hair salon services, and clothes. Esos son los tipos de industria. We have the product or services that they provide. Tenemos los productos y servicios que ellos brindan. Okay, so we need to match them. For example, uh, banks, this is a finance industry. Okay, now we need to look for the beauty and personal care industry. What is it from the one to 10 that we have here? The construction industry, the textile industry, the telecommunication industry, the finance industry, the automobile no, the automotive industry, the packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, and the pharmaceutical industry, okay? So let's match them, match them, okay? Match them. Yes, le vamos a buscar cuáles, vamos a poner el número acá. The beauty and personal care industry, what is it? Bands, soft drinks, guided, Carbers, buildings, mobile phones. Teacher, you decide. For example, for uh -huh. example, teacher, mobile, mobile phones. Mobile phones. Is the, the telecommunication industry. The mm -hmm. telecommunication. Uh -huh, very good. Let's see. It's what number is it? Number. Number six. Nine. Number six. Okay. Number nine. Yes. Her salon services. What is it? The beauty, beauty and personal, beauty care, and personal industry. care industry. The beauty and personal care industry. Very good. So that's number nine, right? Nine. Okay. Let's see. Give me another one, guys. Um, Buildings is in the B, the construction industry. The construction. Which one, excuse me? What number? Number five. Number buildings. five, buildings. Okay, buildings, the construction industry. Good job. Another one? Number ten, ten is C. The textile industry. industry. Okay, number ten, clothes, C and C, the textile industry. Very good. Uh, ten, right? Uh, Jaime, sorry, what was that again? Uh, Jaime? Uh, number three, number three. tours and the tourism industry. Tourism. Tourism industry, tourism. very good. Guided tours, tourism industry, that's number three, very good. Another one, guys? Seven, medicine. Medicine, okay. And the pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical industry, very good. That will be number, oh my gosh, seven. seven. Great. Great. Another one, guys? Number eight. Car component, component, uh -huh. component, the, uh, the automotive, automotive industry. Very good, good job. Okay, let's see, eight, number eight. All right, what about GNH? The packaging industry? The beverage industry. Uh -huh. Beverage industry, what is it? What number? Number two. Number two, soft drink. Very good, soft drinks. And the G1, cardboard boxes, That's right? Perfect. Number four, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, repeat after me. Those are interesting words so we can pronounce here, okay? Let's do it. Uh, soft drinks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Soft Join drinks. the sounds. Una los sonidos, guys. Soft drinks. Soft, soft drinks. drinks. No hagan pausa. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. There you go. Guided tours. Guided tours. Guided tours. Guided tours. Carbar box. Uh -huh. Boxes. 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 Buildings. We have a silent view. Buildings. We have a silent Buildings. 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 Mobile. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. There you go. 
Medicine. 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 Clothes. 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 No. Clothes. Clothes. Remember the TH sound. Clothes. 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 Industry. 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 Guys, what is this? Espérame, give me a second. What is this? Lo que voy a hacer ahorita. ¿Qué es lo que es esto? What is it? What is it? Uh -huh. What is it, guys? How do you call that? Possessive? No. What is in the pronunciation? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> stress. It's stress. Guys, les iba a decir... <laughs> In the in the pronunciation industry, <laughs> like <I> said. <laughs> so uh, it's a stress, a stress. So that means that it's industry, stress. industry, 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 industry. 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 Textile. Textile. textile, 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 textile industry. Give me just one second. Let me make sure about that. One second. Let me make sure about that pronunciation. Textile. Let's see. Yes. I nail it. When you say this, and I nail it. I nail the uña. I nail it. Oh my God. I know. I just forgot it. <laughs> but okay, I know what it means, pero la palabra que le iba a decir, no sé cómo decirle, que usted le acertó. Sorry, there you go, acertar. I nail it, es que usted lo haya acertado, lo acerté, dice. Okay, I nail it. Repeat after me. I nail it. I nail it. I nail it. That means que usted nail acertó it. algo. I nail it. I nail it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Así son los idioms, guys. Así son. Por cierto, vamos a con continuar. Cada día le voy a dar un idiom, ¿ok? Una eh, un idiomatic expression para que ustedes lo vayan uh, obteniendo, ¿ok? So aprendiendo. So let's continue. Uh, finance. 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 Okay, uh, packaging, 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 beverage, 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 there, there, there is another one. Automotive. Automobile. Automotive. 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 industry. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's say it together. Let's say it together. Yo creo que no hacemos eso. Let's see. Okay. Um, solamente les quiero explicar. Mañana vamos a hacer eso. No, yo les voy a dar tiempo. No quiero que se estén preocupando ni llevando nada. Okay, don't worry. In the class. So, let's repeat after me. Uh, the beauty and personal care industry. The beauty and personal care industry. The beauty and personal care industry. Once again, industry. 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 Stress at the beginning. Stress at the beginning. Industry. Okay. The construction industry. The construction industry. The textile industry. The textile industry. 
the telecommunic the telecommunications industry. Telecommunications. Telecommunications. The finance industry. The finance industry. industry. The automotive industry. The automotive industry. The packaging industry. The packaging industry. The beverage industry. Beverage industry. The beverage industry. The tourism industry. The tourism industry. The tourism. Tourism. Tourism industry. The pharmaceutical industry. The industry. Okay, guys, do you happen to have questions about this vocabulary, about the uh, meaning, vocabulary, pronunciation? Questions? No questions? No questions? Okay, guys, so let's see. Um, let's go ahead and go through the attendance list now. Okay, go through the attendance list. And tomorrow, guys, tomorrow we have, uh, we will continue with the class, okay, regarding this, regarding this topic, which we just have another, uh, another activity. We have another activity, but we don't do it in seven minutes. We need more for this. Okay. So let me go through the attendance list and just to make sure Ismael will stay with me. Okay. Ismael, the one on one session. Okay. Let's wait until 10, guys. Let's wait until 10. Turn on the camera and say press. Okay. For the attendance list. Just one second. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. <laughs> Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. <laughs> Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Sulma Jarixa Oliva Cordova. Present. Present. Thank you. Jessica Melissa Oya Cisneros. Present. Present. Thank you. Uh, Sabrina Lizette Garcia Orellana. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Thank you, Maggie. I appreciate it. Okay, don't worry. I got your point. Okay, it's okay. Uh, thank you. Patricia Carolina Rodriguez Herrera. Present. Milton Hernández Sola. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Casi no le escucho, Marco. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Ajá, Ismael and Milton, you were in blue. <laughs> Ok, vamos a hacer la conversación tomorrow, ahorita tomorrow. entre Milton y, y Ismael, yes, ni modo. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Milton and Ismael. I'm joking, ok, estoy bromeando. <laughs> Marco bien contento, miren. Yes, teacher, decía. ¿Por qué, guys? Why? 
Uh, let's see, Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. José Ovidio Flores Fibas. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. And... Thank you. Jacqueline Liliana Barre Hernández. Ella ya no va a asistir, teacher. Eh, no. Y eso a donde lo tengo que informar. Escriba en el grupo. Um, le voy a pasar el contacto. O si no, okay. escriba en el grupo general. Ajá, ahí póngalo. Okay. Informando, solo informando que la compañera y pone su nombre ya no asistirá por estas y estas razones. Y si no hay una razón, pues por razones personales o cualquier otra razón. Okay. ok. Sí, la verdad es que les voy a ser honesta, yo no estoy muy al tanto, guys, de las políticas en ese caso de Insafor. Ok, soy muy ajena a eso, solo me compete lo que son las tareas, ¿verdad?, de un facilitador. Pero, guys, uh, los animo para que sigamos en la clase, para que sigan asistiendo, ¿ok? Y para que se conecten los minutos. Recuérdense que, oh my God, es una great opportunity what you are uh, having right now to be here, guys. So, let's take advantage of this, ¿ok? Ok, so, let's continue. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Thank you. Let's see. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Eric Mauricio Rendero Tomasino. Present. Thank you. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Thank you. Selena Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Present, teacher. Great. And Ángeles Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Give me just one moment. Guys, déjenme revisar nada más si hay alguien pendiente de las tareas, please. Teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, las eran eh, del, de esta semana eran cuatro, ¿verdad? Five, con la de, de lunes. Five. Ajá, five. Wow, estoy atrasado. Uh, me confié. Ya la voy a hacer, teacher. Porque la, la, la de ayer es la que me falta nada más. Quiero ver. Despáchame ya para ir a hacer. No, hasta las 10. <risa> Despáchame. Ok, guys, recuerden que pueden mejorar su nota, ¿ok? Pueden irla a mejorar ahorita si no alcanzaron el 80. Let's try it and try it until you get it. And <coughs> me hace falta Francisco por entregar. Solo él. Pueden volverlo a hacer, guys. Solamente eso les quería decir. Estamos a un minuto de irnos. El día de ahora se queda conmigo Ismael. I don't know if you have any questions so far, guys. Questions, comments, jokes. <laughs> jokes. Songs, stories. Mm -hmm. No? Good? No, teacher. Okay, great. So, guys, I hope you have an amazing night. We continue tomorrow. Okay, let's wait just... Five seconds, five seconds, and you go out, okay? <laughs> five seconds. Three, two, one, zero. You can go. <laughs> okay, bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. for Ismael. Ismael, usted se queda castigado, okay? <laughs> no, it's for the one-on-one -on -one session. No crean, no es castigo, guys. Bye. Take care. Teacher, antes de, antes de todo, rapidito, Dígame. ni cinco minutos. Um, fíjense que el jueves yo tengo mi operación porque después de lo que me pasó no, no la pude obtener hasta el jueves. Entonces, pero no sé porque esa ya es bien complicada. No, no sé. Lo único que le puedo decir es que tal vez al niño le puedo decir que se conecte y, y que me conecte porque no voy a estar, sino que me van a dar hasta el siguiente día. Oh, my God. 
Maggie, por Dios, espero que se cuide. Déjeme, eh, le confirmo ese detalle. Sí, porque sí, usted tiene que estar allí. Bueno, I know you cannot. Sé que no puede, no puede estar ahí por su cirugía, ¿ok? Pero sí, yo creo que sí tiene que estar usted, ¿verdad? Aunque no esté. Entonces, Lo que pasa es que no voy a estar en casa, sino que yo creo que, este, porque me dijeron sí, exacto, que. exacto, por... ya le entiendo. Y desde ayer quería hablar con usted y se me había olvidado. Así es que este, ahí le escribo en el WhatsApp y me retiro oh. ahorita. Bueno, gracias, May, por dejarme saber. Pero, como le digo, eh, sí, voy a averiguar y le voy a dejar saber. Pero sí, no por lo del hecho de, las, de los... Permiso, ¿verdad? Yo igual entiendo su situación, no le digo que no, yo sé que es de máxima urgencia, espero de verdad le deseo lo mejor, Maggie, pero sí solamente le verifico lo de esa inquietud que me dijo hoy. Sí, sí, solo eso, la verdad que yo lo único que le había dicho al niño que él se conectara para que, uh -huh. o sea, que él me conectara como que yo estuviera en, en, en línea, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, es, le quería decir desde ayer, así que See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bye bye. Maggie. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Un mosquito. Bye. Oh, okay. Ajá. Hello, hello, Ismael. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien. Fine, gracias a Dios. Fine, ok. Qué bueno, Ismael. Ok, Ismael, tenemos este espacio el día de ahora para discutir acerca de las dudas que tenga, de comentarios, si necesita algo de refuerzo hasta el momento de lo que hemos visto. Con gusto, si tiene, por ejemplo, algún comentario de la clase, algo que a usted le gustaría aplicar o algo que usted me diga, teacher, mire, me cuesta esto. Eh, qué tipo de prácticas o qué tipo de, de refuerzo yo necesito, consejo que usted me diera, etc. Cuénteme, Ismael, sí, what sí. can I do for you uh -huh. today? En realidad, en realidad, fíjate que sí siento yo que me cuesta bastante, porque mi primer, primer, primera experiencia, digamos, en inglés, digamos, uh -huh. prácticamente estoy formando mi base ahorita porque no tenía más nada y todo eso, ¿va? En serio. Sí, usted como, como, como profesor y todo eso, digamos, eh, es hablar en inglés, ¿verdad? Tal vez de vez en cuando español y todo eso, pero, pero sí, en realidad me cuesta porque me quedo en la luna. Tal vez algunas palabritas me guío, ¿va? me guío, pero en ocasiones sí, digamos, me quedo en blanco, esforzándome a entender, ¿va? Pero, digamos, sí me cuesta bastante y... y el, me pongo, porque aquí paso en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Conecto los audífonos y ahí paso hablando inglés todo el día, es posible, pero... Ah, ya. Yeah. No, la rápido. verdad, Ismael, es que yo puedo decir de que usted ha mejorado bastante, pero participemos más. Si sí, participemos sí, sí, más, sí. quitémonos más el miedo. Yo pienso que eso, eso lo está deteniendo a usted, lo de la participación, ¿sí? Entonces, por lo demás, yo no digo, ah, no, a Ismael le cuesta mucho. No, no, no. Aunque a usted le cueste o le esté costando, usted está diciendo, ay, no, porque hay un... yo siento que usted agarra rápido eh, el, el hilo, la verdad, de las clases. Entonces, yo creo que solamente tal vez participando más, Ismael, practicando más, sigue practicando de la misma manera como usted me está diciendo ahorita. ¿Hay algún... Bueno, yo creo que si me está diciendo eso es porque listening, ¿verdad? Tal vez el, la, lo del audio le está costando ahorita. Lo del audio, más que todo, digamos. Bueno, como le digo, primera experiencia, digamos, hay palabras que no muchas las conozco, aquí ya son básicas, pero en realidad no. No, pero es que eso, para... mire, lo voy a decir, Ismael, eso conforme pasa el tiempo, usted va a ir enriqueciendo su vocabulario. Ahora bien, una recomendación que yo le doy con respecto al vocabulario, porque también es, mire, la falta de confianza al momento de hablar viene de la falta de práctica y viene de la falta de, de vocabulario que una persona tiene. Y eso hasta a mí me ha pasado, pues. Y también he hablado con sus compañeros, a algunos les pasa eso. Entonces, 
¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer con respecto a eso, Ismael? Practicar más, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usted me dice, no, pero hay algunas palabras que no las conozco y no las entiendo. Ok, entonces practiquemos más el hecho de obtener más vocabulario. Ay, no, por Dios me hace, no, no he podido eh, buscar esa aplicación que le dije a Selina, la voy a buscar, la voy a buscar. Eh, y cuando la encuentre se la voy a pasar. Es una aplicación donde usted puede ir aprendiendo diariamente vocabulario. ¿Qué? Lo que usted quiera, palabras que usted quiera. Y le tira a usted el contexto de una manera súper genial, porque no solamente se lo, le pone la, 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 la definición en inglés, sino que se los pone en contexto. Le pone un listening, si es posible le pone una, un video, una lectura. Le pone un montón de cosas en contexto que al final usted la llegue a entender. Que usted no necesita a la par la palabra en español para entenderlo porque usted la entiende de esa manera. Entonces, eso puede ir haciendo. Eso es una manera de llevar un récord del vocabulario que usted vaya aprendiendo. Porque mire, de la forma que es más arcaica <ríe> que yo lo hice, eh, eh, de verdad, yo lo hice, a mí me funcionó. Cuando yo empecé, me acuerdo de que lo que hacía era que yo ponía, mire, stickers en mi pared de las palabras que yo me quería aprender. Suena bien, 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 no sé, bien chistoso, pero así es lo bien que infantil, hacía. Pero bien sí infantil, funciona. exacto. Ajá, pero, sí pero mire, ¿sabe por qué no me funcionaba? Porque va, yo decía, voy a aprenderme esas tres palabras este día, decía. Entonces en la mañana yo las pegaba, así en grande, donde yo lo, no tan grande, pero más o menos que yo se alcanzara a ver. Las ponía, entonces como usted entra a su cuarto, si usted pasa en su cuarto, si no háganlo en su, en su oficina, donde usted pase más tiempo, las pega y usted las está viendo a cada rato. Es imposible no aprendérselas. Entonces a mí me pasó de que yo todo el día con las palabras, entonces yo, aunque yo no estuviera aprendiéndome en ese momento, pero las estaba viendo. Entonces, eso me ayudó un montón, Ismael. Y entonces yo las quitaba el último día, ¿verdad? El, perdón, al final del día las quitaba y el siguiente día ponía otras tres y así iba. Y yo aprendí un montón. Esa era una manera, una, un método que yo aprendí. El otro método es leyendo un libro. Un libro súper básico, si quiere agarre, mire, puede encontrar esos libros de hecho en Dollar City o, o en un lugar donde venden este, cosas usadas de segunda mano, porque ahí venden libros en inglés, pero esos son bien avanzados. Pero en Dollar City parece chistoso, pero hay libros para niños donde hay historias. Ahí puede agarrar uno de esos y empezar a leer. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos en básico. Entonces usted va incrementando su vocabulario ahí. Usted puede ir buscando las palabras. Ese es otro método que a mí me funcionó mucho. Y últimamente, sin mentirle, Ismael, usted no crea que es la única persona que usted está luchando con vocabulario. Y aunque usted me dice, teacher, pero es que usted es una teacher. Yo también, Ismael. El año pasado yo descargué la aplicación que le dije. Y lo que me gustó es que me hace un test de las palabras que yo ya me puedo. Entonces me hace un test y me dice, ok, tu, tu vocabulario está así, necesitas aprender tantas palabras al día y ahí usted las va agarrando de una lista que él le da, que la misma aplicación. Entonces, así. Entonces, como le digo, uno tiene que estar aprendiendo constantemente porque la verdad uno nunca va a terminar de de aprender las palabras, con que en español hay palabras que uno ni siquiera se imagina o no las puede, ahora se imagina en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es lo mismo. Eso le va a ayudar a usted a darle seguridad al momento de hablar y al momento de escuchar. Es mal cuando usted escucha las palabras, o oh, esa es la palabra que aprendí ahora, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Ya entiendo qué es lo que me está diciendo. Entonces más que todo, práctica y participación es lo que más le recomiendo, Ismael. Y más que todo, digamos, porque uno desea quizás a la primera quisiera ser suelto, pero es mentira, no va a poder, no. digamos, más que, digamos, tal vez en la mente le pasa a uno, pero ya a mí me hora, costó, no. a mí me costó, Ismael, y, y, y a todos nos cuesta y es por lo mismo. Fíjese que yo creo que hay personas de que traen para aprender un segundo idioma y lo agarran así. Hay otras, a mí en lo personal yo le puedo decir, hay personas que nos cuesta más, a mí me costó, a mí me costó, Se, tal vez que requieren más tiempo, 
tal vez yo creo que por el tipo de aprendiz que es usted, porque hay personas que con escuchar, con, con, con solo escuchar algo, con solo leer algo, ya aprendió así. Pero entonces es el, es el método, bueno, no es el método, es el tipo de aprendiz que es. Entonces, eh, eso pasa. Y pues que usted sea un aprendiz de un tipo que no es igual que el otro, no quiere decir que usted no vaya a aprender. O sea, siempre vaya a aprender. Si no, mírenme a mí, que acá estoy. Que a mí me costó, ¿ok? Pero bien, por eso no, no, no me salgo, porque digo yo, bueno, todo ha pasado por eso, porque no yo, me pongo, tarde, yo me pongo a imaginar en usted, Fede, me imagino cuando comenzó, digo yo. Sí, fue horrible, mire Ismael, cuando no. yo aprendí, yo luna, tenía mis bases, sí, yo tenía mis bases en la escuela, pues, en, uh -huh. en, en qué, en bachillerato fue, que yo tal vez un inglés súper basic que vi ahí, de ahí que fue a un curso donde la misma maestra de ese bachillerato ella nos daba clases privadas, entonces mi mamá me pagó, pero yo que fui un curso de verano nada más y hasta ahí, y de ahí yo llegué a la universidad a aprender mi carrera en inglés, y usted no crea que a mí me daban una palabra en español, yo llegué así a valer, Ismael, yo decía yo me quiero ir, yo quería llorar porque yo no la entendía y ahí ellos no me tenían lástima porque ok, esta es una carrera, si usted agarró niña ni modo y exámenes de un solo en inglés, <risa> nada que empezando así de lo es basic, un proceso. entonces es un proceso, exacto, que tenemos que, el, el, el que persevere va a alcanzar, el que persevera va a alcanzar. Ajá, aunque yo decía, no podamos, Dios pero... mío, ¿en qué momento quisiera saber si de verdad yo voy a poder a man manejar una conversación? Dice. Quisiera Eso saber, tentaron, ¿verdad ¿no? que sí? Uno dice, sí, sí. quisiera saber si yo voy a poder de verdad. Qué genial o fuera. A cierto nivel. Ajá. Hablar, pero se todo. puede, Ismael, se puede, sí, ¿ok? Sí, Así sí. que, don't give up. Ok, no renuncia a eso, you can do it. No, no. Usted es súper bueno, Ismael, yo lo he visto. You can do it, ok, pero no se relaje. No, si no. usted se relaja, mmm, no se relaje, participe más y practique más, así como le di, ok. Ok, teacher, ok, teacher. Ok. Otra más practicando y sí, mi deseo es ser más suelto y todo eso, pero... Vamos, vamos a aprender un poquito más para ir Voy a buscar hablando. esa aplicación. Mira, ahorita sí, ya estoy entrando. Um, lo voy a buscar y se lo prometo que ahora la encuentro. Que no me acuerdo ni cómo es porque yo la tenía en otro teléfono antes. Y yo ya no tengo ese teléfono. Entonces, ese es el no problemita. Era. Gran ah, problema. No era la U, U, Lingo. ¿Cómo es? No, no es eso. No, no es ese, fíjense. Pero lo voy a buscar. Y ha sido un ah, placer teacher. hablar con usted, Ismael. ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta o algo más que pueda hacer por no, usted? No, teacher, solamente, teacher. Ya conversamos. Bueno, cuídese mucho, Ismael, y keep Está it up. Bueno. Manténgase ahí y, y espero yo voy a hacer ahí su guía. Si usted me necesita, mándeme un mensaje yo con gusto, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, gracias, gracias. You're welcome. Take bueno, care. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.